downtown Augusta has become the bike center of the universe if just for a few days. Everywhere you look, look around here, everywhere you look, there's bikes everywhere. And all the biking enthusiasts from around the world are right here in Augusta, right in the shadow of General James Oh Well, yeah, great. We'll get, we'll get the crowd even hyped even more. Okay, just before we got here, we left a press conference that was being beamed around the world. Forward, I think, the greatest Tour de France team ever. Please and welcome, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Director Sportif, Johan Brunil. I think it's important for Discovery to continue to win the Tour de France, but uh, perhaps more importantly, it's, a, it's, it's important for uh, the American sporting public to have an American win the Tour yes, de France. Yes, but uh, at the same time, I think Lance today announced uh, a very, very important decision. Um, I knew it already some time ago, and, and people asked me, are you, are you sad, are you, do you have any regrets? And I said, no, all the contrary. I think me, the team, the sponsors, the fans. Gentlemen, uh, go have a great Dodge Tour to Georgia. Lance Armstrong and the Discovery team ready to put on a show on the streets of Georgia. And Lance and his team off to uh, recover, have a good dinner, and get ready for the big race that begins tomorrow. Thank you, good to see you all as a professional cyclist at the Tour de France. July Looks like you got them lined up today, Pat. Something like that. Been a good day for you, the Tour to Georgia? It's been a good day for, for Augusta, that's right. If they're going to do it, where should they do it? Do it downtown. And how about you, you're a bike enthusiast? Yes. I couldn't guess. I couldn't <laughs> tell. How'd you feel uh, having Lance Armstrong and, uh, you know, as, as large a name as he is, but everyone else? It seems like this, was, this is like uh, the Super Bowl right here, having all these people here. It's exciting. The whole thing was exciting, not just Lance Armstrong. Well, that's what I, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, everybody from around the yeah. world, everybody who is somebody in Biking's right mm -hmm. here, including you guys. <laughs> Look at this. For a few days, Augusta is the bike universe, the center of the universe for the bikers. There it is. I know you guys got have got to be loving it. it. All right. It. Hey, if they're going to do it, where should they do it? Down, Augusta. Down, down, down in Augusta. Halle Tiki Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Here I am in front of Fox Shoes at 218, right here on 7th Street between Broad and Ellis, and I just dropped off some boots earlier today, this morning, and I'm coming back. I want to give them some polish, a little bit of polish, a little bit of restain, a little bit of work done. So uh, let's go on in and see Grover and see if Mr. Willie's got them done. Come on. Here he is. It's Grover Fox. He's on it. Now, y'all been down here a long time, haven't you? 65 years. 65 years they've been down here. Anyway, I, I dropped off a pair of boots earlier today for Mr. Willie mm -hmm. to, to polish up and get him shining. Grover, tell stuff. everybody for, that maybe don't doesn't know out there in TV land what it is that y'all do down here at Fox Shoes. We do soles and heels and uh, re, redo western boots and uh, sell western boots or Pretty belts. Much. Let's talk to Mr. Willie real quick. Mr. Willie, what you doing over I'm here? I'm all right, shining too. Look at this man. Look at him. 
I had him over here and get a close up in shoes there. Look at that. <laughs> Let me tell you, them boots, them boots look. Y'all made him look good. These boots look bad look when I came in boots. here this morning. Daddy got his boots going on I'm going to be stepping out. Look good. Go over, tell everybody real quick what your hours are so that if they want to bring some shoes down. So, look, all you guys out there, y'all do repairs on all the good stuff and boots and everything. So, all y'all need to get your shoes we sold. Don't throw those shoes away. Bring them down here and let them put some soles on for you, repairs. Anything that you need done is full service. Now, tell everybody your hours. Okay, we from 9 to 5 o'clock. Every day, and you can. We got a drop box next door. You can drop them in 24 hours a day, seven anyway. days a week. Well, look, thanks for spending time All with right. us. How much I owe you for the boots? Let's go ahead and get that squared away. How much is it with it? Here we go. Left them in the rain. Grover's going to take care of them. This is the before shot, and tune in next week, which really will just be tomorrow for me. But next week, you'll get to see the after shot. I'm sure it's going to be great. Yep. I can't wait. All right, we're going to take care of them. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Grover and the gang are pretty nice guys. Uh, and if you have some shoes that do need repairs, uh, bring them on down here and let Grover take a look at it. And I tell you, we're going to come back and we're going to check out how Jason's shoes look next week. So just remember, those watching this week, tune in next week for the Fox Shoes comparison. And we'll do a side by side so you guys can see what a good job they I know what a good job they do. I have my all my stuff done here. Now I want you guys to know. This is so, what you call a cliffhanger. It's a it is a cliffhanger. Exactly, Jason. It's a cliffhanger. As a matter of fact, I know that all of you are at the edge of your seat just waiting to see Jason's shoes. So next week we'll make sure that when we do show them to you, it's a treat. Come on, let's get on down the block. Well, here we are, folks, at 216 8th Street, right between Broad and Ellis at It's Gone Consignments. Now, let me tell you, they got some great quality stuff in here. I'm going to go in and take you for a little tour. You get to meet Grant, the guy that owns the place. I'm going to take you inside. We'll talk about the hours. We'll show you some of the cool stuff they have in here. No other shop downtown is like this. I want you to come check it out. Come on, let's go do it. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Hey Grant, how are you? Hey, the Do It Downtown show returns to It's Gone Consignments. Uh, real quick, tell our viewers out there in TV land a little bit about your shop, what it is, uh, you know, and your hours of operation, things of that nature, so they can come down here and see it. And then I'm going to walk around and show them some of the cool stuff you got in here. Okay. Well, Brad, we're open 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. We're a consignment store. All our stuff is priced when it comes in, and every 45 days it drops 15% with a shelf life of about 140 days. So our inventory is constantly turning. We get stuff every day. It's fresh, it's new. Uh, we get some really good stuff in here, some old antiques, newer pieces, retro pieces, just a little bit of everything. Pretty much anything for the home. Anything for the anything home. Anything for the home. No appliances, but. That's a good motto. Pretty much anything <laughs> for the home. It's gone consignments, 216 8th Street. Um, all right, we're going we're gonna to wander around uh, and take a look at some of the cool stuff that's in here. And uh, I know Jason knows what he's talking about. Don't you, Jason? Well, I hope so. He hopes so. So we're going to take a look around. If what I don't know, he probably knows. And if we've got a question, we'll call you over. All right. Thank you, Brad. Guys, come see him. Cool dude. You know, you buy something like this, and next thing you know, you're looking for a little geisha girl. You want to see me put this on? Okay, watch this. Do you feel sexy, Brad? I feel very sexy. Tom Cruise, The Last Samurai? I don't think so. Eat your heart out. Boom.
This is my great granddaddy, Julius Edward Fowler Owens Bradley III. Very regal looking guy. Hopefully when I'm that old, I'll look that regal. <laughs> <laughs> and please welcome to the Do It Downtown show our, I guess I would say our Persian rug resident expert and dealer, Jason Lister. Jason, tell us about this fine piece right in front of you. Well, let me say, one of my favorite things about Grant's shop is he has great rugs. Fabulous rugs. Love them. Look at this. Quality rug here. Look at this. Look at this. This is, let's see what this is. This is a rare vegetable dyed Caucasian Kazakh, 100% hand knotted. I mean, look at this. Look, look. This is the real deal, y'all. You know, this isn't something you're going to find at Sam's or Lowe's. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Who's it made by? Uh, I think this one was made uh, a fella, Rashishimi, Kasumi, Kasumi, Imi, Humi, something like that. Anyway. I would assume that would be Iranian. Mm, well, well, I don't know. Let's see. It tells us right over here exactly where he lives. Uh, yeah, Rashishimi, no, Lot 19, Hepzibah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, it looks like a great rug to me. I love it. I'd buy it. Let me show you another one over here. This is my favorite. Look at these. Look at this, darling. No Kaleem here. This is quality rug, darling. Quality carpets. Look at this. Look, at look this probably took Rosh Hashim. I mean, look at this. Look. Hundreds and hundreds, dozens and dozens of months and things, whatever. However working people do, whatever. They did their thing and they did a great job. Gorgeous rug. Can't believe this hasn't been snatched up. Look at the quality. Look at the colors on that rug. Oh, they're beautiful. These vegetable dye rugs are, are, are gorgeous, you know, I mean, and you can't just rug some steam cleaner across these. I mean, make sure you go see the bullaces. Well, that was pretty cool, and I'm glad we got an opportunity to talk to Grant and show you some of that great stuff. Now, come on, let's get on down the street and see what else there is to see. How do you like our farmer's market here? Oh, farm market, great. I've been coming down here ever since it's been open. Well, that's great. Are you, you going to keep coming back? Oh, yeah. Well, this is the Do It Downtown show. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is encourage people out there to come down here and do business downtown. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice if you would. We got cantaloupe pie. We got cantaloupe pie. This is sweet potato pie, and that's cantaloupe pie. What's your name? My name is Ruby Lundy. Ms. Lundy, do you make these yourself? I make them myself. How do you like the farmer's market? I love it. I love it. This is homemade cantaloupe pie. Try it and tell me what you think of it. Cantaloupe pie. What, 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 what time I get up, what time I don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Very good. Do y'all like downtown Augusta? Say yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> well, we're trying to tell people to come down here and shop, so look in the camera and say, do it downtown. Say, do it downtown. Good morning. Oh, good morning. We'll try some of them. Oh, look at that. Those all are almonds. There's a Bavarian style roasted almonds. Tell all the viewers out there in TV land, they need to come down here and try your, uh, your nuts. Right. And that's how it counts. Or they call in Georgia, they call them pecans. Come try his ba roasted Bavarian nuts. Ladies, how are you finding the orchids over here? Oh, they're fabulous. Beautiful. They're beautiful. Beautiful.
How are you finding the farmer's market? Oh, we loved it. We uh, came by to stop by and we noticed there was horses out there. I mean, a petting zoo. And Chandler just loves horses. Chandler, tell him. Do you like Nay? Did you like little Nay? How about the horses? What the horses do? Hey, Chandler, do you like the horses down there, buddy? You Nay. like the horses? Absolutely. He's pointing. He wants to go back down there. <laughs> Matter of fact. Well, so we love downtown, and if we're going to do it, we do it downtown. Hey, thanks. Give me a kiss. Mm. There you go. He's a kissing mom. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get a good bite. There you go. Hey. I'm going to ride a horse. Hello. Well, here we are sitting in front of the Bee's Knees, which is right here on 10th Street, which is between Broad and Ellis. And they got some tapas bar, they got good stuff, but also they got tables set up outside on a beautiful day like today. You can come in and relax. Uh, what are you guys, what did y'all eat? Did y'all get something to eat? Yeah, I'm at, I will be having the avocado chop chop. The avocado chop chop. So I take it you eat here often. You don't have a menu, so you know what you want. Well, I there's a little sign over there. Oh, it's for special. <laughs> it's for special. <laughs> hello, tapas, hello. Tapas special. Tapas special. That's great. I, I, you guys, like, y'all come downtown often? Yeah. You like I it? Suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Don't, doesn't a relative of yours work down here? Yeah, my dad works. Uh, Tell me who your dad four. is. My, <laughs> my dad's David Baggerly Bell Senior. <laughs> David Bell, attorney at law. So you know, I tell you what. Look down at the bottom of the screen. That's David Bell's number. If you need an attorney, call <laughs> him. He's bottom of the one. screen. Good we, guy. We'd appreciate it. And uh, wait a minute. Here's another Bell. Yeah. And tell me who your dad is. My dad is John Bell. And he's also an attorney. Yes, he is. Also has his office downtown. Right? Right. Ready? Yeah. He sure? Is. Yeah, it's over, Positive? it's over on Broadway. It's in the, uh, what building is it in? It's in Health Central. Okay, John Bell's number. Right here, bottom of the screen. Need an attorney? <laughs> There's another. It'd be funny if somebody else's number is You've, You guys are trying. That's right. Well, I'm going to put your number. Well, our motto is if we're going to do it, do it downtown. So if we're going to do it, where should they do it? Downtown. All together. If they're going to do it, where should they do it? Downtown. downtown. You guys are so energetic. I love the youth of the day. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy. So how are you today? I'm great. How are you? This is great. Look at this place. This oh, is you amazing. You see it up the street. It's just wall to wall people. This is great down here. Helicopters yep. have been deployed. Yep. This is the Do It Downtown this Show. We're encouraging people to come do business downtown. As well they should. If they're going to do it, where should they do it? Downtown. And all over Siopus is playing in downtown tonight. I can't think of a better place for you to play. Anyway, welcome to downtown. Hey, it's been a pleasure. This is the Do It Downtown Show. Now, yep. both of you work downtown at the most popular nightclub dance spot in Augusta, correct? Yep. yep. Tell our viewers where it is. It's 813 Broad Street, right on the corner of 8th and Broad. About was, a, uh, about tell them the name. It's called Majesco. Is it Tiki Hut? <laughs> <laughs> is it Tiki Hut? Oh, it's a Halle Tiki. It's That's the most popular tiki. place, the Halle Tiki, not Majesco. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to encourage people to do stuff downtown. If you're going to do it, where should they do it? Do it downtown. Do it downtown. There's this guy coming through in a minute. What's his name? Lance Armstrong. He does it downtown. He's doing it downtown. Yeah, he is doing it downtown. I saw his RV downtown. Live strong. And here we have Commissioner Betty Beard, First Commission District. Commissioner Beard, this is your district. What do you think about all the festivities? This is amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. Yes, it is amazing. How many, I mean, this is an international event. Lance Armstrong makes an announcement that affects the entire world of cycling right here in Augusta, right here in your district. Yes, that we're making national news and international news is unbelievable. But believe me, if you were not out to see this, you have missed a treat. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it's very interesting that Tour de Georgia comes back every year, and I hope that they come back to Augusta soon. Uh, our, our show is called Do It Downtown. We're trying to encourage people out there all over the CSRA to come downtown and do business. Uh, so if they're going to do it, where should they do it? Downtown. He's <laughs> <laughs> got like his old your mamas. Now tell you what, my cameraman can attest. Can you attest to it, Rick? Tell them about that salad. Tell them about the salad, Rick. Oh, come on now. It's the uh, the seizure salad deluxe with chicken. It is unbelievable. I come down here at least once a week and get one of them. Unbelievable is the word. Also, I tell you what, I like the chicken burrito here, and they also have a burrito called Da Bomb. And let me tell you, they call it Da Bomb because it is Da Bomb. So come on down here. And also, just so you know, the same entrepreneurs that own Blue Sky Kitchen also own this Hold place. On, wait right a minute. Here. Look who we ran into. This is great. Come on up here. Come on up here, Mr. D. She's These. I know she's the personality, but you're half. Uh, these are the Davenports, and they own Artistic Perceptions down on the on the 500 block of Broad Street, and they've been a frequent guest on Do It Down. Artistic Perceptions is the name of it. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you want a portrait, she's the best. She's absolutely phenomenal. Her talent is phenomenal, and it's probably one tenth the price if you tried to get it some other place. And uh, but she is not one tenth the talent. It was good to see you, Ms. Davenport. You guys have a good evening. Right ahead. All right, here I am at the Majesca with the man, the myth, the legend, Jody. He's the manager here. How's it going, Jody? Good, good. Well, look, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, you guys appearing on the Do It Downtown show. And uh, you're going to take us for a little walk and tour through what's going on down here. What is going on down here tonight? Well, it's Saturday night. Uh, we've got a party, also Scandalous Productions. They throw a party every other month down here. And it's hot. It's, it's a lot of, a lot of hot, hot girls in there right now. And uh, DJ Kenny Ray spinning some hip hop, reggaeton, dance hall. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. This is the entrance. This is our new lounge right here. Unfortunately, there's nobody in here. That's right. The table looks good. We've got a couple of upstairs areas. The one on my left is for general access, and the one on the right is for VIPs. Uh, currently, we've got a bachelorette party up there right now. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's do it. This is our upstairs VIP room. Hey ladies, this is the Do It Downtown show. So we're trying to encourage people to come out from wherever they're at and come downtown and see what there is to do down here. But our motto is, if you're going to do it, do it downtown. So if they're going to do it, where should they do it? Somebody gon' get the yeah. They call me new money, say I have no class. I'm from the bottom, I came up too fast. 
and if I care, I'm just here to get my cash. It will be my boy. This is how we do it. We make a move that the fool bound it up in the club. This is how we do it. Nobody do it like we do so much. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 